Assalamu alaikum my name is Tamur Sikandar and today we are going to create the navigation view which is the next video of our city guide application uh, the series currently we are working on so inside this navigation view if you uh, already know how to create the navigation view but this video will be amazing with some new features so uh, let's start our application splash screen we have created then we have created the onboarding and then this one the dashboard navigation view we are not just going to create a simple navigation drawer but as you can see the effect over here so this color is uh, just a random color uh, the yellow one we can change it uh, later on okay uh, this effect we are going to create and then you can see we have a custom background color and a custom top color then we have a header over here with the cycle and some text so when you are going to back at the top you can see we don't have by default an action bar or we don't have any toolbar here but we are going to use the custom menu icon uh, the one this is basically an image so when i am going to click on this image our navigation is working pretty fine and a pretty fine animation so this is what we are going to create in this tutorial so without wasting time let's get started open the project we are currently working on which is the city guide application and inside in the previous tutorial you guys know we have created the dashboard with some scroll bar and a static top bar so uh, we are going to add the navigation inside this user dashboard so uh, to add a navigation open this split view and in here you can see we have designed this dashboard with the parent layout is linear layout and inside we have a relative layout which is the top bar and then we have a scroll bar for the whole body now uh, we have only one layout which is the drawer layout which allows the navigation view to come on the screen and go off for that we have to change this linear layout with the drawer layout android x dot drawer layout dot widget and we have to wrap the dashboard code inside this drawer layout so as you can see the relative layout and scroll view is here but their top layout was the linear layout so that's why I am adding the linear layout with match parent width and height and then in here in the drawer layout background and orientation will be cut it from here and paste it inside this linear layout closing tag and this closing tag will be pasted as it was before underneath the scroll view and above the drawer layout now our whole package is inside the drawer layout press alt control l to align the code okay close this one inside the drawer layout the next thing we need is a navigation view if you don't uh, get this navigation view uh, simply go to the design and click on this search icon and search for navigation view you might have a downloadable icon so click on this to add the dependency in the project once added go back to the split view and go ahead and add navigation view so it's uh, navigation view width will be match parent and height will also be match parent then we are going to add a background color of our navigation view which will be light white in our case and then we want to make it layout not margin it's layout gravity and it should be at the start or we'll close this navigation view and at the top in the drawer layout as you can see i already have this line which is saying the open drawer is equal to start so that's why you are currently seeing this drawer layout as a start position if you want to make uh, make this drawer width little smaller you can change its width to wrap content you can see currently we don't have anything on our navigation view but we have just a background color so the first thing inside this navigation view is the header layout so the header layout is the top layout which will not be clickable but just uh, just create or to add some design to our navigation view so we have to add this header let it be empty for now and the next thing is menu itself so app colon menu so we don't created the menu yet the menu will be pasted beneath this header layout so first of all we have to create the menu so open the app resources and in here and in the resource uh, we first need to create a menu folder go to new and create a directory make sure it should be small 
without any spaces so menu click ok and inside this menu folder right click new and create a new menu resource file and I am going to name it main underscore menu inside this resource folder everything should be small with underscores so we cannot add anything capital here main underscore menu click ok and you can see we have this primary and secondary colors I switch it to the split view and inside this menu to create a menu we have to create a group first and inside this group we have one more method which is the checkable behavior so we have checkable behavior single all and none so what single means is we're going to use the single one the single means uh, we can select our item and it will be selected for the time period until we will unselect or deselect it so that's why we are going to use the single okay inside this group we have to add some items the first item will have its id navigation underscore home then we have its title and title is going to be home as i already added the strings if you are following my tutorials you know why the strings are important so add everything in strings then we have to add the icon and icon is going to be it's a menu dashboard icon the one i am going to use for the menu so close this one so this is how we can create a single item whether it's id title and icon so let me duplicate them change their ids and names Okay, so we have created our first group uh, which will contain the basic uh, menu navigations and close this one now before adding or before going to add a group inside our menu what we want to add is a title and this time we need to add an item here and this item is not going to add any ID or anything but just a title and it will be profile and inside this item now we want to create another menu because group can only be placed inside the menu so we have to add another menu to create a group so menu will be empty so create a group simply copy this one and paste it here so let me it is also a single clickable so let me change them as well as you can see this profile will include the login profile and logout buttons if in the future we need anything else we are going to add them inside this profile section so by this way we are going to add one more section which is going to be categories if we want to add the categories here we are going to add all these categories if you don't want to add the categories you can simply delete this section so let me add the categories as well with the IDs and icon okay I have created uh, item with the categories and now the last one is not going to be a checkable behavior so let me open this and this is going to be the share one and this is not going to be checkable behavior single because inside this uh, we don't want to go to an any activity but we just want to add a pop-up so this is not going to be checkable so you can simply make it none or you can simply remove this line because by default it is not a checkable so we need only two items in here the one is share and the second is going to be rate us okay so that's it we have added all these icons and we have created our menu successfully with the first one is uh, without any item because the first one will not have any title name and we want to start our menu from the menu itself so if you want to add title to it as well you can simply write this item line and a menu around this group so that's it for the menu so now the next thing is we can add a menu in here inside our dashboard 
so right main menu the one we have just created okay now the next thing we want to add is this header layout okay to add this header layout go to this layout and right click new and create a new layout resource file and name it header or menu header as it is again in resource folder so we cannot write anything capital and make sure small letters with underscores menu header and click ok go to the split view and change this constraint layout to the one i am going to use is the relative layout press alt ctrl l to align the code and change its height to 200 dp okay now inside this relative layout the first thing is uh, okay first of all let me change its background color it is again going to be light white if you want to change this uh, background color if you want to add some image or some gradient or anything you just have to declare it here uh, so let's create two text views but let me add first image view so let's create our text view first text view should be in wrap wrap content width and height and the text is going to be slogan name as we are using the relative layout so align parent bottom make it true or the other way around is if you want to place things at the bottom from bottom to top you just have to write the gravity gravity is equal to bottom and then things will be placed from bottom to top but that is only recommended inside the linear layout not in the relative one so as it is relative so items will be placed relative to other items so we have to assign their ids so this one is menu slogan these are not going to use inside the code these are just for the design purpose and also margin bottom 10 dp and margin left 15 dp close this one again we need to create a text view which will be wrap content width and height then the text is going to be the logo name which is get away this time i am going to use our font family with the black one change its text size to 24 sp as we want to place it right above of the slogan so we will write above layout underscore above and the id will be menu underscore slogan again margin left will be 15 dp we close this one uh, we also want to add its text color and this time it is going to be black okay the next thing we want to create an image view and it will be 40 dp in width and height then we need its source source is going to be menu logo icon yes this one then again we want to place it at the above but we haven't declared its id yet okay so this will be layout above above to the app name right again we have to declare the margin left as you can see this is not a good approach by creating layout margin left margin left and margin left what we can do is we can assign not the margin but padding left 15 dp and remove these three lines okay we have achieved what we want uh, and the next thing is uh, we have to add an image the large image you can change this image with your logo and this is just a referral image of what this application is about so again we need to add an image view and this image view is going to be 160 dp into 175 dp now we add a source of the image this is going to be the half by cycle and we have to place this at parent align parent right yes true and also align parent bottom true you can get the code from the from the link link is in the description so we have created our header as well so let's close this one and also 
uh, we are inside our main dashboard and let me assign its header which is the menu underscore header inside this layout file it is currently not refreshing okay we have created a navigation view and a drawer layout uh, so we need to assign their IDs as well because we are going to use them this is the drawer layout and then the next one is navigation view that's it we have drawer layout and we have navigation view so let's jump back to the user dashboard this code was for the dashboard we have created with some hooks and the function calls so first of all we need to assign the variables drawer menu is good to use comments every time so the first one is drawer layout and let it be drawer layout then we have a navigation view first one and let it be navigation view okay we need to create hooks yeah, menu hooks and this is the drawer layout is equal to drawer layout press ctrl d to duplicate change this drawer layout with the navigation view and again this with the navigation view. these are the things inside the design so we have to point every time this design to this java code if we want to use them so as you can see uh, or you might have seen in other tutorials uh, people are using the toolbar here but i'm not going to use the toolbar in this uh, as i told you at the beginning that we are going to use a static icon or our own custom icon when the user click on that icon uh, our navigation drawer is going to be pop up so it is going to be simple if you want to use that toolbar process or if you want to use that action bar process you can check the video i already created link is in the description so uh, run this application okay our application is running the first one is the splash screen and then we are in the dashboard currently you can see i am clicking on this menu but nothing is appearing because we haven't done that yet so let me grab this one from the side and there we go you can see the menu currently when i am going to click on this navigation icon they are not currently clickable the first one the home is not currently selectable so when i am going to click on this home button or any button on this drawer it is going to be clicked and also when the drawer is open and I am going to press the back button, our application is closed instead of closing the drawer. So let's do that. So this is what we are going to create in our next part. So let's quickly jump to our second video because this one is going to be a little bit longer because we also have to add some animations. So that's it for this video. If you learn, please like this video as well. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.